Whew. Back on the grind, y'all. Larkin, Whew. what do you think about this trip so far? It's good. That was a steep climb. That was, man. I'm out of breath. But well, we got our we got our war paint on now. Yep. It's and this is gonna be the first evening we're uh, we're bugling. So besides the first night when it was like basically dark, we're just gonna be camping farther and farther away from where we originally went in. I just want to let y'all know the way the born and raised guys hunt, and honestly the way I want to hunt, we're shooting anything that's legal. First legal thing that comes out. I got my buddy JT behind me. I've got Casey from Hushin up in front, and we're kind of just making a little triangle around where Trent is calling. Whenever the bull comes in, hopefully he gets in one of our lanes. So we're increasing our odds. So it's not about you know just trophy bull hunting up here. It's it's about getting meat, and it's I mean hopefully everyone can get something down. But I'll I'll shoot the first cow. I see it doesn't even matter. Here we go. Group huddle. That was supposed to go better. Now we just gotta get further up here. Yeah. We're not very far up. How you doing? You know, Texas boy, hurting right now in the mountains. But we're making it. So we got. been to the top of that there's some lakes just over that rim right there a big, a big lake doesn't have any fish I tried pretty quiet tonight man we're here at the end of day one y'all so here with Casey Trent both very experienced hunters and they were just saying that at times when it's good you can hear up to 200 bugles a day. Yep. And even like if one cow goes in the heat, it just gets absolutely nuts. I'm yet to experience hearing bugles frequently. The most I've ever heard is like a couple in a day. Yeah. Like today was the day? most. Today was the most? Today was the most. Oh, we've heard, we heard what, maybe 10, 15? Maybe, maybe. And that was from three different bulls. Like when they go crazy, like I said, when there's a cow in heat, the whole canyon erupts. And they just get slobbered. Oh, it just sounds, that's when they become stupid. It just sounds like a train going off. And then sometimes it can go away in a hurry too. And then it can yeah. end real quick. <laughs> We're going to experience that on this trip at some point. We will. But good first day. I'm still learning a ton. I'm asking Casey, I'm asking Trent a bunch of questions. So they're a great resource to learn. And that's, that's really what I want to do is learn how to do this on my own but i gotta say it's a lot more fun to do it with friends and uh, especially guys that know what they're doing that's the end of day one guys um all the channels are linked down below go subscribe uh go learn go and do some of this stuff yourself and ask a bunch of questions that's what i'm doing to try to learn so we'll see you on day two sore legs are sore shoulders are sore we went about eight miles yesterday and we set up camp on this ridge and we heard elk all night long after like three o'clock in the morning i woke up and i just kept hearing them and i just couldn't go back to sleep so i'm so excited to get out of here we haven't heard anything in the last hour or so 
but we had a lot of moonlight, so I think they're really moving. And there's definitely three bulls that are down, it's probably 150 to 500 yards from us right now. That is more bugles than I've heard in my entire elk hunting experience. Um, I heard more last night than I did in weeks of elk hunting, so I'm excited. It sounded like we were surrounded. Yeah, we had them on almost every side of us, so hopefully it pans out. Hopefully it's kill day. Cheers. Time for a little water, lunch break. Just got some really good fresh water rolling here. And uh, the last bull that we had bugling had some cows or something. He just took off up the mountain, way up there. So you wouldn't really call him back if you don't want to chase him. And uh, we're just kind of enjoying the moment right here. You got to do this. Unbelievable, being up here in the woods. Feel free. Majestic. See a trout? Right past the log. I see him. You can oh, see yeah, how yeah, orange yeah, yeah, yeah. from here. Yeah, yeah. Where? where? Which cool. log? The log laying in the middle of the river. The just, one that's going across? Yep, just past about halfway up the log. Just go past oh, it about yeah. a foot. You see that orange? Yeah. You can see his belly. He's moving. Dang. Oh, yeah. That's a good one there. Trent has discovered the land of the giant brook trout. We've got an isolated mountain lake here, a um, bunch of grass. I'm going to attempt to catch one of these giants that's sitting sitting out here in this little trough. So they've been trying the little rooster tail deal. It's not working. I think it's going to be a fly game. So I've got me a little hopper. We've seen a couple of them come up to the surface. So hopefully they'll, they'll munch this thing. There's some serious It's a delicate walk out there, huh? Oh, 
Yeah. You jacked oh, pretty hard. That's he might be off. No, he's on. Making me bleed. Mosquitoes? No, they're <laughs> flies. And they have a big ass nostril thing getting me. Another bear. Well, folks, we're coming to the end of the day today. It's just kind of been a like hanging out, waiting for these elk to make some noise. But we found this mountain lake here that looks just awesome. And um, I just caught a brook trout. Had to get down in the undies when the sun was out, but now that it's kind of going down. Old Larkin, he just pulled in a little brook trout, and I think we're actually going to camp here and maybe do a little cooking. Maybe we'll do a little trout cooking. I don't know what to say about the hunting. It's it's honestly, at this point, been like I experienced last year. A lot of just walking around. We've busted a couple out, but not a lot of bugling. It's been really silent. Um, what we heard last night was incredible when we weren't hunting we were just sitting in the tent it was just bugles everywhere so you think you'd wake up and just be like hearing bugles but wasn't so we're just kind of taking easy we're not trying to beat ourselves up too much uh, i've had some pus starting to come out here um but don't worry mom put some neosporin on it and trying to make the most of it we've got many more days in these boots so just gotta try to take care of the feet had some tape on here but when I waited out, things got a little gross. And uh, hopefully we don't get gangrene on this trip. That would be a win, you know? <laughs> gangrene would be a real downer. Be a bummer. You need to start ripping a few more out so we can get some din-din going, bud. That's that's dinner. The bounty, huh? Trent, tell us about the brook trout. This is my first time. Deal. We're gonna eat eat one of these. We're rocking giants out here. Um, yeah, no, caught one, two. Well, we you got, got two. two so far. We got two. JT we got, got one. one as well. We haven't set any any records in size yet, but it's coming. I think the later it gets here in the evening, dude, I had a couple of them roll on it that looked. I saw the boils from pretty over here. Pretty good. Pretty good. So plan is then we'll just camp here and try to catch a couple hogs. Eat well right. tonight. Get our uh, get our proteins back in us. A little mm -hmm. fish oil tomorrow. Kill two bulls maybe. I like that plan. These fish are almost too pretty to cut open. I know some of you are probably cringing right now, but when you're really hungry out in the woods, and you and, haven't had a real meal, and you haven't had a real meal in a minute, um, a tasty trout just starts sounding really, really good. Old blue, buddy. Old blue, Panther Martin. Panther Martin. Ooh. Getting her done. Casey just missed one. Did he? <sighs> They're in there, man. They're turning on. Maybe I need to get that back whole, out there. That whole trench, if you. But that's the problem is we can only fish right there with the fly rod that nymph like sinks down oh dude one just busted out here oh another one busted oh my oh. gosh if a moose walked out right now it'd be the most majestic you moment shoot yourself couldn't you oh amazing that's pretty y'all if you're not getting out in the woods i highly suggest it it's a little rough on the body but it makes you feel alive temporary right temporary temporary pain memories for a lifetime Size. Yeah. Dang. That's awesome. Good colors, good girth. That's yeah, a healthy cool. fish, man. He's probably like For 12 sure. years old. You know? Yeah. <laughs> He's been out here a while. He's a cold grower. <laughs> I think we ought to turn him loose or think. slap the sods off of him. Dinner, I think. Dinner. I think dinner? I think so. Guys, guess what? Everyone on this trip's caught a fish. Oh, wait. Except for Logan. Yeah, I did. I caught four today. Oh, yeah. I slammed him. You did slam him. Oh, dinks. High country fisherman. It is a little crispy out. I slept okay. I feel like it got a little colder last night than it did the night before. It's chilly. I feel pretty good. You look well and rested. Thank you. <laughs> that, that was my best night's sleep. Yeah. Right there. It was nice. Yes.
job. There's nothing in it. As good as we can. Please shoot that. Go ahead, just shoot your fifth arrow. Not your lead arrow. Just shoot this one. Shoot that arrow. Lady. We're living off the land. We're living off the land now. Now it's getting primal. Did I shoot through him? Did he fly? He flew mm -hmm. away. He shot that one through the base of the neck, I think. Chicken. JT grabbed that thing and pulled it over there. Look, got some gas to grabs. That's going to be delicious. <laughs> I'll check this out. Oh boy, John Thomas Earl Larkin just got a grouse. This is going to be part of dinner tonight. Good job, JT. Thank you. First grouse, dude. I've never had grouse. They're delicious. Yeah, they're Look at how their feathers go up and over their legs. Mm -hmm. Little That's woods chicken. Wild. You got a bag or something? I got that zip off if I can find it. I've got one right here, I think. Nice. So we're going to clean this, get it ready for tonight. Now take its legs. Okay. Now slowly just kind of just work them hold back. On, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What now? Work those legs. Just work them back and pull no, them. Pull them, pull, oh, pull them up. Pull them yeah. up. Wow. Wow. Let's Pops hold those like up. That. No, yeah. that wasn't supposed to happen actually. Let's <laughs> oh. pull the rest off. Pull the rest off. But. But that was perfect. That's nice pretty cool nice though. Job. We got drumsticks though. Dude, that's See? awesome. <laughs> Glad I taught you that. <laughs> Never seen it happen before. No, I haven't either. Mashed him. And didn't touch you got the it rest. off pretty clean too. So that's, that's the shot. Like from here there's some bigger section right above their breast and you did perfect. Didn't hit any <laughs> any meat. Up, up, up. There's the physical aspect of elk hunting that is just I kind of like it, but I kind of hate it at this moment. <sighs> We're going to climb up about a thousand feet. I think the elk are going to be up there. We've been at the bottom lands, you know, we've been doing some fishing, just kind of messing around and just enjoying ourselves. We got a grouse. Now it's time for the big meat. So I'll keep tracking here. You know, take a little breaks. Just little micro breaks. Micro breaks. This looks fantabulous. Yeah. Got all that luscious stuff to eat. Under him. That must have been that broadhead open. Shoot it again. I don't want to waste my arrow. You don't shoot that arrow. You don't have a broadhead. Oh, I need to quit. Somebody shoot an arrow. Hey, man. Who's the grouse guy? What grain is this? It's less than 100. It'll still hit him at 13 yards. I shoot 125. Just take your time. You got this. Got it. Oh, oh, yeah. Good shot. Tear like it. Cavity of an elk, didn't it? Yeah. It did. <laughs> Boom. That's three. <laughs> Eating like kings Good. tonight. There was another one up here that landed. It's like a Brahma chicken. Now that looks so tasty. Look at that beautiful clean meat. Must open because whenever I cut this one, it opened through that. Colonel Sanders. What do you got on this? Super low on it. Quite the situation. Okay, guys, don't try this at home. Um, Justin shot at his first grouse, he lost his insert. And we want to use this arrow to shoot at more grouse, and I broke my grouse arrow. So we're going to take this Rage trap hand, we're going to somehow put it in this arrow, and electrical tape it to where we can shoot grouse with it, without an insert. 100%, no question it's going to work. I don't think it's advisable, I'm but okay. I was going to tie this around there to do basically the same thing that you're doing. I just came up with a better idea. Yeah, your idea is better. That's it. That's it. Now we just need to electrical tape it on. I'm telling you guys, this is basically a 23 caliber bullet right now. Give me exact grains within like five. Look at grains. that. That's what actually it's actually pretty true. I'm just gonna tell you one out of ten. Ten being it's gonna work. It's twelve. That's borderline. You just made your own spear. 
Oh, and that's work. how you make a viral YouTube video. <laughs> Where's our title now? <laughs> Made my own wood spear. Viral wood. wood. <laughs> you have to kill a grouse with this. I know. Guys, if we see another one, you're up first, buddy. Yep. Is he still there? Yeah. Go to my right here. A little bit. See anything? You see him? Take your time. I got him. Watch him. Got him, Kay? Oh, no. No. You hit him. He got away. The duct tape broadhead. It looked good. I think he hit him forward like yours. I thought it looked good. How far? 100 yards. Dang it. So I'm flying 100 yards, huh? <sighs> well, y'all, the old electrical tape spear center into the grouse, but I think I hit mostly breast. Haven't been able to recover it, but good news is we have three more, and they seem to be liking this hot weather. The elk don't like it, but the grouse do, so. We might get one one more, maybe two more. But we still gotta save some broadheads for the big meats. But we're gonna be eating good tonight. Okie dokie folks. After a long day of hunting, no elk. But we do have the grouse and we're about to do a little cooking. So I think the plan is we're gonna take our individual pots and we're gonna cut, like each person's gonna get a breast and get a leg. And then we're going to cut those up and put them in um, to our cook kits and each cook them individually and maybe put some like ramen uh, some ramen spices or seasoning in there just get the flavor and then maybe add it to a mountain house or eat it by itself i don't know it's going to be my first time having grouse though so i'm pretty stoked okay guys this is our little little powwow for the evening yo coming in to get a little grouse action Get the grass. Got the cutting, cutting board right here. Much flat ground, you boys. Look at that. Little cutting board. Yep. Yeah. Bring it. Bring it. Good, good job stuff. today, buddy. Thanks. It's good the, shooting. I got the McCormicks too. It's gonna be a good night. It's gonna be, good. it's gonna be a real good night. Is that a bull? Is he calling for bulls? Yeah. We got some more troops added to the herd tonight. Uh, so we got a bunch more guys in camp. So I don't know if we're gonna have enough for every single person, but I'll be back broad it's gonna be too. Oh, so we yeah, have four. That's right. Team Grouse Busters. My rock. Hey, old bugle, or you just trying Trent, you got any tips for, for grouse? <laughs> Tips for grouse. What I'm, do, I'm just trimming some stuff off, just like some big white stuff, and then there's a little bit of bloodshot on this. So trimming that out right now. So what I'm gonna do is go into small bits because right now we can't have a fire because of fire season. So we're kind of fouled there. So what I've done in the past is just cut them into just small little chunks like this. And then whatever you're making, whether it be a mountain house, whether it be a top ramen, whatever it may be, you just throw that protein in when it's boiling and it just boils with it and it just enhances the meal just 125 percent i like 125 it's yeah spot on spot on so we got the, um the little pots right here and put some water and some seasoning in there okay folks we've got some mccormicks simmering on our grouse nuggets and uh we're gonna put them in the pot here and see what they turn out like <laughs> so we're each just gonna pass the old grouse nuggets around, put them in our little pots, and cook them to perfection. How's the McCormick looking? McCormick's looking pretty strong. I'm gonna go ahead and take a couple off the top here. I'm gonna do one more and we can do seven. I think that's you know, it's breast. Looks like a gizzard for a second. No, that shouldn't be any good. Okay. 
Thank you, thank Dude you. Dude shot two of them. I'm just going to use that boiling water after it's cooked and pour it in the round. Oh, yeah, extra flavor. Yeah. Extra flavor. Hey, Trent. It's a good idea. Okay, boiling up nicely. Some of, some of them are turning white. It's fogging up. So, we'll take that flavorful chicken water Want it more? and put it in our beef stroganoff Anybody as well. I think, I think uh, Jake wanted some. Jake, you want some more? I got some. You sure? Yeah. That's a strong stash, dude. It's, it's getting grouse. a little out of hand. Yeah, yeah, we got the grouse today. Yeah. It's a thick one. We're going to pull one out, cut it open. Okay. First time eating grouse, right? Oh, yeah. I just got super excited because it looked perfect. Yeah, this is gonna be my first grouse taste right here. Mm. It's a big moment. This is a big moment. We'll never is it seasoned yet? Yeah, the McCormick's actually stayed on it. Done all the way through? Done all the way through. And you went six minutes? Six minutes. Okay. Okay, first grouse. Juicy. A little chewy. But dang good. Life has changed. Dang good. Okay. Now I'm going to take these, put it in my mountain house. A bunch of extra protein tonight. We're good to go. John Thomas Earl Larkin goes with the ramen method. I, held it up here I thought that was a good oh, touch, dude. Oh, yeah. dude that not. looks amazing. Grouse nuggets oh, in the ramen. Really yep. Perfect. Perfect. No, he doesn't care about how hot Too hot to eat? Hot Too hot to eat. Right okay. Yeah. Well, don't burn your no. tongue for yeah, camera. Can we, can oh. Well, we just finished our first grouse ever. It was delicious. Finished it off with a little mountain house, so we got refueled. We went um, nine miles today, so that was the most that we've hiked. Um, really cool to see the grouse, and I think I left some specialty broadheads for shooting birds in my truck. So if we go back to our trucks, uh, which we're eventually going to have to because we're running out of food, I will definitely pick those up because that is fun. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed watching today. Stay tuned. The next thing we got to do up here, guys, we got to get an elk got to get an elk in sight so that is the next mission we fished we've hunted grouse we're living off the land which is amazing but we've put in the hard work now it's time to see an elk so hopefully we hear some bugles in the morning keep your fingers crossed and i will see you guys in the next one lord god we thank you for this beautiful day and this opportunity for friendship and fellowship we ask for your protection in the wilderness and we ask you to just protect us and give us a little good luck today. We ask all these things in your name and thank you for your blessings. Amen. Amen.